Yo, what is good, YouTube? And welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Diamond Marcus Smart. And I honestly think this Marcus Smart looks really good. Like, he might be a budget monster point guard. Kind of like a better Diamond Drew Holiday. And that Diamond Drew Holiday is still a card that I feel like I run into relatively often in Unlimited, a card I've seen a lot of people use. I could see this card for 31 KMT being like one of the very best values and maybe even the best value card to pick up from the Wild West drop. Um, really, one of the only cards in the player market that I think is actually worth buying right now is this Marcus Smart. I think he's really good. Um, I think he gives you a lot of defensive versatility, slashing ability. Um, if you had a couple shooting badges, he might be a really good shooter as well. Overall, Marcus Smart's a good looking card in my team, and I'm excited to try him out. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 20,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Less than 200 subscribers away from 20k, trying to hit it by the end of the month of February, which is only a few days away, but I think we can do it. Um, getting pretty close, so we'd really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it uh marcus smart 89 offense 99 defense six foot four shooting guard uh or point guard definitely a pg in my mind though um 89 driving layup 87 mid-range 86 three ball 85 free throw 90 driving dunk 90 ball handle um low block rating yes but 97 steel 97 perimeter and 90 interior he is a dog defensively 94 speed to the ball and excel at 95 vert not incredible strength but 97 lateral quickness badge wise 13 hops include fast twitch anchor challenger clamps glove post lock down blow by speed booster rights to curb bulldozer and 94 feet really good looking card the fact that he has a couple of finishing badges is nice that hoff bulldozer is nice the gold posterizer uh catch and shoot bailout break starter dimer handles for days um interceptor chase down pick dodger precision dunker basically fast feet i mean he's got most of the key badges that you really want on a pg now you'd like to put agent three blinders uh guard up green machine limitless on him like you'd like to put those shooting badges on unpluckable as well as a point guard uh brick wall like there's a few badges you want on him i'd say the main ones are unpluckable limitless agent three and blinders and then outside of that maybe brick wall or something but at least he's got anchor like he's got pretty close to uh, everything that you want as like a key pg outside of some of those shooting badges and obviously unpluckable is a nice badge as well so there are things he's missing yes but if you put a couple of those badges on this card i could really see him being able to compete with pretty close to any point guard because like y'all think he can't guard a devin booker i mean considering how good he's behind the back and how good his drag back is like he actually moves really nicely trey young's dribble style is pretty solid uh the between the legs burst is nice and his release is really good it's fast it's smooth it's pretty easy to grain you put limitless you put agent three you put some stuff like that on the card and he really does get to the point where he's gonna have some really nice animations and just be a really good high level point guard on both ends an actually really capable slasher 90 driving dunk can stick dunk at the high level uh a defensively half anchor half clamps bunch of other hall of fame perimeter badges like he is going to be out here clamping at a super high level so this card i think can be amazing he's got a better release than drew holiday he's a better slasher than drew holiday he has anchored drew holiday does not like he does a lot of things he's just a better drew holiday basically he's a 6'4 point guard with tall hair makes him look 6'5 um like yeah he's better drew holiday he's amazing budget point guard thirty one thousand mt this is one of the few bright spots from this wild west drop this card is very good i am excited about him and i don't think enough people are talking about how good this card is because he's a monster uh let's hop into a game let's use marcus smart all right uh our opponent in this game has magic anthony edwards carmelo d rob and jason tatum so pretty good squad but not nothing special i wouldn't say um let's back up here let's play some good defense let's see what we can do so uh marcus smart he's only six four but like i don't know if he's a small point guard at the same time i know it only six four especially in previous years i would have 100 considered that a small point guard even this year to a certain extent i still kind of do but with the player build with the hair that makes him look taller than six four i mean even next to magic he doesn't look that small and then with the half anchor and the defensive versatility it's hard for me to say that he's like incapable uh of guarding those bigger defensive guys good offensive board for uh kp we'll take the dunk there that was a good dunk uh honestly just wasn't open and i shot a fade anyway that was a bad take but it's all right bad speaking of bad take he went up with a contested shot and gets bailed out with a foul so 
I guess. Um, free throws for Carmelo, though. Those will both likely go in, and we will be tied at 2-2. Two to two. So there you go. Um, let's see what we can do with Marcus Smart as a ball handler, man. Obviously, with badges like Agent 3 and Limitless Range, he will be more, much more of a threat as a three hunter. Um, but right now, I do think he is probably more of a threat as a slasher than as a three hunter in all realisticness. But we'll try to get some threes off with him. That was a little bit of a force. I wasn't really open. I thought I was going to maybe be a little more open than I wound up being. And... Um, what in the he just tried to put me in the room with anthony edwards honestly i kind of respect it um but good defense beautiful we worked out so we got to stop it's can we can we get another stop can we contest beautiful defense very nice defense good contest and um run the floor throw it up to marcus bro he got a steal on that with carmelo from that close like good defense i guess but he was really close to kp i'm surprised that he's able to tip that pass I don't know. Whatever. Um, athletically, I do think Marcus Smart can actually... Oh, we'll take that assist. Oh, open corner three ball. We'll take that one. Knockdown shot. Good stuff. And um, a five to four lead has now been taken. That's a good assist. I'll take that if he's going to help down that hard. Um, Marcus Smart... I do think is more of a threat as a slasher than he is a shooter, but I will say with that drag back that he's got and then that behind the back as well, you get some shooting badges on him and he can really become a threat from far outside working the pick and roll and having different options as a, a scorer being able to both attack the rim and shoot the three ball. Uh, very good defense. Look how well he gets through the pick and roll and then strips the ball from Magic as well. That's still my opponent. No, that's my ball. He stripped it off Magic apparently. Very nice defense. Look at Marcus Smart showing the value. There you go. Elite defender, really good all around card i don't know this marcus smart card gives you some value like if you do put the shooting badges on him i don't know i'm, I'm intrigued because the defense this card provides is pretty darn valuable catch and shoot off the load up come on marcus oh it's slightly early i smoked it wide open weird load up i didn't exactly know what the release is going to look like and messed that one up there a little bit but get through the screen you know who marcus smart is he's getting a contest he's playing d he is playing defense regardless you know he's gonna play d uh contest here he's not open that's an offensive three anyways yep beautiful stuff Three seconds in the paint. This dude's a little bit caged on defense, and uh, Marcus Smart is a big reason why. He's playing elite-level defense right now. Uh, push the ball up the court again. He's backing it up now. Doesn't want to get beat up the court. I don't blame you. Uh, behind the back here, escape and reset it back up top. We're getting a little tired. That's okay. Come off the screen, and he switches it, um, and we'll dot it to the corner. Back up top to uh, Marcus Smart. And you know what? I'm just going to go into the mid-range, pull up, and you know what? Draw foul. That'll work. He jumps at me with magic. If he hadn't jumped, it would have been open. Open, but because he jumped it wasn't open but you know what we draw a foul go to the free throw line those should be knocked down and there we go he may not be the greatest offensive card but he is a good dunker um so when he gets going towards the rim he is going to, to do that well he has a good drag back a solid dribble style and a good behind the back so he has some pretty solid moves to work with and just gives you he gives you a good amount of offensive versatility while being a really really good defensive point guard so to me that's valuable drag back here attack this way and very nice move movement honestly uh, uh creates a mismatch for kp to attack and beautiful stuff kp that's how you attack a mismatch make a move and go score you love to see it um contest here click on again beautiful defense i'm not giving you an open three ball imagine very good game by marcus smart i think he was a huge part of that win to be honest defensively he is special offensively you kind of do want to add up some shooting badges if you could i don't think it would hurt um but he could dunk the ball pretty well 90 driving dunk good stick dunker i didn't showcase that well in this game but his sigs are pretty good as well i was trying to three hunt with him it wasn't working too well again I think those shooting badges would help, but I like the card. I think he's really good. I think he's an elite level budget card and uh, 2K needs some good budget cards and he is a great elite budget point guard. So if you're looking for a PG option, a new point guard, I think Marcus Smart might be your guy because that card, I think he's better than a Dante DiVincenzo, uh, especially with some badges. Like he is really, really good. Very, I mean, he's a top seven eight point guard in the game at very worst he's probably better than dame better than tyrese halliburton like or close like same level as tyrese halliburton maybe i don't know very good card um one of the best budget point guards if not the best budget point guard probably the best budget point guard in the game right now to be honest so hope you all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace